been a day. Um, I didn't record this morning because I was in a really bad mood. Um, I'm still not in the greatest mood. The rams broke down the gate and I had one ram die and the others are all out with the flock. Looks like the one that died had his head, well, he does have his head through the squares in the panel. And um, looks like when he started pushing, the rest of the ram started pushing and his neck got broke. So that's how my day started, which put me in a really, really crummy mood. Uh, so now we are going to go out and bring the entire flock in and pull out those rams. So in 24 hours, five rams ended up breeding just about 30 ewes. So 15 rams in 24 hours with 100 ewes, February is going to be a disaster. Yeah. Okay, none of the rams are supposed <laughs> to be here. Well aware. Maybe none of them are interested in rams. Okay, well, apparently you weren't watching the same Rams I was watching. The ones that had their lips curled? Uh-huh, and oh, their yeah. nose stuck in butts. Yeah, no, no, they're interested. Well, my concern is if five Rams with 100 ewes managed to get about 30 of them bred the first night in 24 hours, what did 15 Rams do in 24 hours? Not quite 24 hours. Well, but it depends on how many ewes were in a heat. Well, out of 100 ewes and 15 rounds. I'm guessing there's 25 at least. At least. In an overnighter. So, we will not be breeding in January. Got all the boys back where they belong. So we're going to keep the girls not near them for a day or two. Hope they forget. But yeah, they were getting their groove on. Hmm, rams. But they did. They just popped all the twine off of this post and laid this whole panel down. So... We are going to tie it hard and fast. No, see, right there, that right there. See how his head's through there? Well, that's exactly what they'd done. And then they jumped over the top of it and broke the other ram's neck. So, Changes will be made. So the goal now is just to keep the rams in. Um, I may have to move them to a different pasture. I'd really like them to eat that one now that the grass is growing in it. But if they're going to keep trying to get out and get to the ewes, I can't keep them there. So they will have to go somewhere else. And the only other place I have is up at the house where the fence is not the most fabulous. So. Not really sure what I'm gonna do at that point, but I, uh, it's just not been the best day. It looks like Woody's got a couple more. One of them being my tilapia. That makes me happy. And he's still got some paint on him, so I think we'll be okay. She's got a little mark on her. I'll write her down, but I'm not banking on her actually having been really covered completely. Looks more of like a, he was just pushing. And there might be a couple down there. I'll have to go check when I feed. But yeah, he's moving right along. No new butts, no new covers out back or outside with the two younger boys. Uh, hopefully they'll kick it in gear soon. Hi, sweetheart. But, um, 
I just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for something to make today be a better day. Having tilapia covered makes it a pretty good day. But, um, so the ram we lost was my Glenn. He has been my heart ram from the beginning. Losing sheep, losing sheep always hurts, but this one really hurts. Gave these guys a little, hi buddy, a little treat this morning. Had some zucchini that just I'm not going to get to, so figured I'd give it to the rams. We'll see. They might eat it. I know, buddy. Where's your brothers? Where's Elvis and Millie Vanilli, huh? What you doing? Trying to get radar to run. Radar needs a second seat. Yes, radar does. Radar's had some issues, is what you're saying? Yes, radar has had some issues. That's a fine way to explain it. Good afternoon. We've kind of been doing stuff this morning, just not a lot of stuff. Um, we worked on his little car. We moved water. We found two rams that may have jumped the fence again. So we have to bring the whole flock in again and pull those two out and figure out another place to put them. And kind of just been puttering. So I think now we need to go and move those lambs into the slough with the other lambs and then bring those three older boys or boys up here. And I still haven't gotten around to checking butts this morning. So um, that's usually first thing I do. It has not happened yet. So that's on the list. And then I'm not really sure what else we have to do today. It's, it's kind of been a nice, just slow, relaxing day. We don't get a lot of those very often, and uh, I'm not disappointed. So first group out. We've still got one more, probably 15 more head that we need to take, but I don't want to shove them all in one. Come on, babies. Come on, kiss. Come on, kiss. Come on, guys. Come on, kiss. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. There you go. Come on, kiss. Come on, girls. Yep, come on. Good girls. Oh, big jump. Come on. 
tons of feed. More than. Come on, boys. Come on. No, buddy. You're not going anywhere. Come on, you two. No, Millie Vanilli. Oh, my gosh. Zeppelin? No. Come on, boys. Ay, ay, ay. Rams. Another bunch just came up. I didn't even see him there. 